Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke. Welcome back to Let's Read Lacky Daisy. We're still going to be doing some of the gallery things while I still work on, like, getting the voices back and whatnot. And like I said, I'm not 100% sure how many of the mini comics I've already done. But we are already finished with the early concept art. So I'm going to look at a f another line of the inspirations and then some mini comics. And then based on how long those are, decides on how many we do. So, especially now that I know there's a next button. Alright, first up. Oh, wow. Oh, what's this? Um... When, when Tracy went to Anthrocon, she had posters of these. I wish I had gotten one, but, um, Lackadaisy Harlequin. More art for a hypothetical card deck. I think there actually is a card deck now. Um, other color character art for this purpose can be found among the preview art. I have been thinking of, I wanted to do something special for the Joker cards. Somehow special ended up being having Rocky and Freckle dressed in silly costumes, sloshing liquor around, threatening to destroy things, and smiling like they mean it. Hopefully it's not hard to look at if it's too disorienting. There's a less confusing picture here. Never mind. No, there isn't. So, okay. Next up. I think this is the cover to the first book. Yeah, Lackadaisy Paperback. Front cover for Lackadaisy Book 1 to be published later this year by Renoir Comics. It's not as detailed as my illustration work usually is, but I felt stronger composition was the more important factor this time. Rocky is pictured here in a fashion that I think is too similar to his look in the Lackadaisy card shark illustration, but his swoopy posture and the inclusion of the violin was integral to the flow for the uh, of the picture. I think Mitzi mingles well with the background, though. Hopefully, overall, it at least has some structure and doesn't come across as a hypersaturated retina searing color blitz. Nah, it looks fine. I like how she's got the little smirk going and she's got the martini and the... I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like it could cut somebody. The thing in her hand, I mean. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, I think it's uh, newspaper stuff. Let's see. Mordecai is wanted for murder. There's some pearls here. New quarry to be blasted. There's Freckle graduating. Mordecai at a desk. Clothes pins. The marriage. Hugs after the clothes pins. Her in school. Them at the bar. His mug shots. Lackadaisy Scrapbook. This is actually just background artwork for the flat pages of the Volume 1 collection from Renoir Comics in Italy later this year. But I wanted to, to use that space to say a little something about the characters illustratively. I don't think I've ever said that word out loud before. The layout and print form will be different, of course. It's a combination of pencil art, digital painting, and utilizing old photos of my ancestors to create borders and texture brushes for the antiquing effects. There's a larger version of the image here if you're interested. It looks... okay. Gallery scrapbook. Nice. Oh, hey, it's a uh, human Mordecai. Like it is a clockwork. Just a little painting done mostly to unwind after some fairly heavy duty art crunching to meet deadlines. Mordecai looking less fuzzy than usual. He looks like he could be in uh, Team Fortress in this picture. Or some, or some such thing. I like the five o'clock shadow and also the glasses. I would not want to meet that dude in an alley, even if I didn't know he had a gun. Let's see, uh, syncopators, one, two, okay, four more. Violin, and we got the saxophone, and the trumpet, and a piano, and I want to say a cello? And the microphone. Lackadaisy syncopators. Lackadaisy's band, apparently surrounded by some eye-searing, oversaturated jazz lasers. Okay. I'm not very pleased with how this came out, but I can't afford any more time to fuss with it. I don't think those old ring mics were meant to be swung around like that, but they, they look drunk and off-key anyway. There's a detail image here, and a uh, 1024 by 768 here, and a 1280 by 1024 here. Nice. Actually, you know what? Let me just... Bop. Center. Yeah. Cool. Um, how to get out of here. There we go. Next up. Lackadaisy Perennial. Ooh, this is nice. I would not have expected Ivy to be, like, I don't know what I was about to say. Never mind. But no, I noticed the little lackadaisy thing is at the end of her pearls. Ivy without the cat ears. I was supposed to be working other things, but I painted this instead. Actually, I started it a while ago, then apparently got bit by the digital painting bug, so I stayed up late past the past few nights finishing it. I say fast pew, I think I did. Hooray for the 20s and helmet hair and wearing ridiculous frilly things on your head. Yeah. Ooh. 
Wait, is this supposed to be Rocky? Rocky, the cat from whence the came the character, done as a Christmas gift for my mother, who was probably even more affected by his loss than I was. Oh. Painted in Photoshop with a tablet. No! Rocky looks like he was a gorgeous cat, though. I can almost imagine him doing the grin, even as an actual kitty. Uh, there we go. Is that it? Yeah, that's the, the last one for Lackadaisy Clockwise. I wonder who this is. This started as something wholly different and somehow transmitted to a bad excuse to paint a pretty flintlock pistol. It does look really nice. It gave me something to uh, digital to work on while I was off visiting family over the holidays and stuck without a scanner, though. Wick, who, despite being armed, probably couldn't bring himself to shoot a corpse for a 40-year-old bottle of scotch. And he's really just a geek for collectible relics and rocks and scotch. Yeah, I can see that being Wick. Would you like to see my pretty flintlock pistol? I got it after I finished cracking some rocks. Sips, uh, Scotch. Alright, so, let's check out these mini-comics. Um, yeah, starting with this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually read this one out loud. If I have, I don't remember it, but... <laughs> Lord, strike me blind! What a chassis! Gams up to her eyeballs! There's a vamp on the make if I ever saw one. I have no idea what any of us just said. Lackadaisy baby vamp. This one was really just an excuse to have fun with period slang and facial expressions. Wick is so hopelessly removed from Rocky and Freckles' lifestyle, I can't help but want to put the three of them together in order to achieve maximum awkwardness. Yes. I'm pretty sure I've read this one. I'm, I don't know. Maybe? 1914. Hey, there you are! <sighs> I'm glad I found you. I'm going to need to glue these syrupy old flapjacks to your head so I can observe. Yeah, your part is easy. All you need to do is wait for the bees. I don't like bees! Honestly, Freckle, your unwillingness to make a little personal sacrifice in the name of science is disheartening. What if Madame and Monsieur Curie had run away shouting, I don't like radiation! What if Edison had- Ah, damn. Okay, what about you just eat the glue instead? I don't like glue! It's only a pint! I'm not asking- ah! They just go through the ceiling or off the ceiling? Science would be much easier if you quit hopping around like a flea on a hot griddle. Ah, bees! Okay, bee glue. Uh-oh, a flashback. I decided I wanted to go ahead and draw out the explanation for Freckles' acrobatic prowess. I suppose anyone with Rocky for a cousin would have had to adopt some keen survival mechanisms in order to make it past childhood. Freckle as a young adult already had such a baby face, it was something of a challenge to, uh, to get him to look even younger beyond just shortening his legs. So listen. <laughs> you just shoot sniffles? That shot, Victor, and yes. Yes, I did. But he was a good, he was a good driver. He was repulsive. That nose crust and, uh, Not his fault, he had a uh, sinus problem. He was getting snot all over everything. Well, now he is getting brains all over everything. Yeah, I hate it when they twitch around like that. And was it me or did he always smell a little bit like mayonnaise? Sordid sniffles. This is just a little side comic I did for fun. Chronologically, it falls before the comic storyline, but it seemed like it was about time I paid a little attention to Victor and Mordecai. If it strikes you as weird, petty, and disturbing, well, it probably ought to. Sniffles, we hardly knew ye. I wonder what Sniffles looked like before he smelled like mayonnaise and brains. People are impertinent these days, Victor. But That woman has been staring at us since we walked in here. It's rude. She's not staring, she's making eyes at you. Well, what exactly is she expecting you to achieve by doing that? Waiting to see if you'll give her back the look. The look? Yeah. Dark, uh, smolder look, like Valentino. You mean smoldering? Something like this? No. Am I doing it now? No. Is this it? Maybe happier? A little bit? 
How's it? No! Verse! Dark look like Valentino is different thing from dark look like, uh... I will murder your, your family with ice pick, probably. That wasn't remotely like the ice pick look. But perhaps I need a lesson in nuance. Shall I step aside so you can make eye at her chic? <laughs> Not a preview, technically, just a goofy mini comic, Victor and Mordecai, who used to work together. I wonder if they got her number. Make eye. <laughs> what are you doing? I th th told you to sit in the middle. Why do we have to keep going over this? A bit of common courtesy. Is that so much to ask what we're practically chauffeuring you about? Did we not establish that our line of symmetry is over here? And do you not realize that your blithe disregard for this is throwing the geometric spatial harmony in here completely out of kilter? Is that what you want? Is that what you're trying to achieve? Hmm? Asymmetry? Hmm? Yes, that's an improvement. Thank you. <laughs> I saw that! You did that on purpose! Ugh! Always they are crying in my ear! Why don't you just admit it? You never liked symmetry! And noise! And you! Noise! Noise! Did you lie about liking grammar too? It never makes any sense what you are saying! You fraud! Your facade is a little asymmetrical! Let me fix that for you! Close Volak! Zabijamta! Rick! Lackadaisy quick fix. Evidently, the Lackadaisy family is a dysfunctional one, but they usually work things out in the end, uh, violently at someone else's expense. This is just another good old days pre canon in the timeline mini comic. Mordecai, Victor, and the poor schmuck who's along for the ride. Well, they're gone now. Okay, which one is that? One, two, three, four, five. I think it was the fifth one, so three more? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was an unfortunate turn of events. Less than ideal. I mean, it was a rather disappointing affair, wouldn't you? No. Disappointing. That's not the right w the right word. How about displeasing? I'm displeased. D distressed? Distressed and grief stricken. Inconsolable. Probably consolable. But I did not particularly care for it, and I'm f frankly I'm outraged. Gold dang dad blamed dad gummit. What is it? H uh, humdinger? What a barn burner. I am in a tizzy. All a flutter? What do you want from me? Stop that. You're trying to conf you're trying to confuse me. Anyway, I don't want to argue semantics with you. The important thing is that no one was hurt. No one who counts. I'll, I'll never understand you sentimental types. <laughs> no, my cufflinks. Help me find them. Lackadaisy Massacre. A Victor Mordecai flashback again. Uh, emotions are hard. Good morning, boys. Do you know what very special day it is? Uh, are they <laughs> are they nailing sandwiches to the wall? It's St. Patrick's Day. You see, we come from the rich heritage of the Hi Hibernian Isle, the land of mighty Tuatha de D Danan, of mystic druid circles, and fairy wings you know the wee folk who live beneath the enchanted emerald hills? Now you know what that means, don't ye? <laughs> <sighs> it's time for church! So we can celebrate the vanquish and all that superstitious heathen nonsense! <laughs> Sit up straight or the devil will steal your backbone and lash you with it for all the rest of eternity! <laughs> Lackadaisy shenanigans. This probably qualifies as one of the, mo the more ridiculous things I've ever drawn, and I've drawn the six million dollar manatee. The what? I hope there's a story behind that. Um, there's not much more to say about it, except perhaps there seems to be something intrinsically masochistic about being Irish. Oh well, I hope your St. Paddy's Day was at least more fun than Rockies and Freckles turned out to be. Okay, and one more. Takazima Here sweater Dasina Seba Toto Dasina Seba Toto Chuck Samich I brought you a tie in hopes that it will inspire you to make less unfortunate wardrobe choices in the future. It's just my little way of saying 
I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. Victor, I found you the most adorable matching hat and scarf! Actually, I bought it for myself, but I I need to pretend- I need you to pretend it's yours so for now so that my dad won't suspect I spent any more money. <laughs> oh, Tannenbaum! Oh, Tannenbaum! Those- Thy leaves are so unch- Happy Holidays! <laughs> um, lackadaisy Tannenbaum. A little pre-canon holiday stupidity, season's greetings would have been the more common thing to say in the 1920s. Happy Holidays seems to have emerged out of the 1940s. It's just a coincidence that the sound Victor's fists make when it collides with the face. <laughs> Happy Holidays! Okay, so. Um, it's only 15 minutes. Maybe I should check out some of the other things? I'm curious to see if the $6 million manatee is in here. Um... Let me, uh, come on. Man, nope. What? I need to find out what that is. Six mil million dollar manatee. Images. I feel like it's this. And, wow. So, now we know what that is. Um, maybe I can, I can probably just end the episode here. So, that about does it for this episode of Let's Read Lackadaisy. In the next episode, I imagine we're probably going to continue with the illustration slash mini comics. Because we got, like, another eight more illustra- There's 16 more illustrations and a, a lot more of these dudes. And then all the previews and then all the sketchbooks. So, we got- Lots of side stuff while I procrastinate doing the actual plot. Anyway, if you liked it, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. There will be a link in the description to the comic as well as the Patreon page so you can support the comic. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.